Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I am going to discuss about directories focus method for the ellipse. These are the different methods for the ellipse. In the last video we have discussed about concentric circle method, rectangle method, parallelogram method, arc of circle method. Now it's turn for the directories focus method. That is also known as the general method as well as eccentricity method. So let's see the last method of the ellipse. Start with the description of the problem. Draw an engineering curve by general method. Take distance of the focus from the directories is equal to 50 mm with eccentricity 2 by 3. Give the name of the curve. Also draw normal and tangent at any point on the curve. Here intentionally I have written with the different color. Because of this is the output that we are going to draw. Here the question is about the name of the curve. Look at this important data that is given to you. Eccentricity 2 by 3. So here it is less than 1. That's why it must be ellipse. So here you can say name of the curve is ellipse. Now here we have to follow the general method. Because of that is mentioned in the description. If it is not mentioned in the description, then definitely you should follow this general method only because of the eccentricity is given to you as well as the distance of the focus from the directrix is given to you. And at last we are going to draw the normal and tangent at any point on the curve. Now let's solve the problem step by step. Here we are going to follow the general method that is also known as the directrix focus method. So first of all draw the vertical line that is known as the directrix and then take randomly any one point give the name as C and draw the horizontal line passing through this C point that is known as the axis line. This directrix and axis line both are actually the reference line. Now look at this data. Distance of focus from the directrix is given to you as 50. So this is the directrix. So take the scale and exactly at 50 mm you can look at the focus point f1 so here it is the f1 that is 50 mm from the directories now next here eccentricity is given to you as 2 by 3 so always take the sum of these two value so here 2 plus 3 that is 5 so you have to divide this distance c2 f1 into the 5 equal division because of the sum of these two value is 5. So it must be 5 division. If it is 3 by 4, then 3 plus 4 means 7. So it must be 7 equal division. Now next, here numerator is 2. So you have to take 2 division from the focus point towards the directories. So you can locate the vertex point V1. Now after location of the V1 point, draw the vertical line passing through this V1 point. Take initially the random length. Now take compass, set the radius that is exactly equal to V1 F1. Take V1 as the center, draw the arc and so that you will get over here the intersection point. Mark it as E point. Join CE and extend it. Take the length of this line randomly. Now take the set square that is 45, 45. Here draw the line that is exactly 45 degree with the reference horizontal line passing through the F1. So here keep in mind that this angle is the 45 degree. And that you can do directly with the help of the set square. This line will intersect to this extended CE line, mark it as G point and then draw the vertical line passing through this G up to this axis line so that you will get the intersection point over here, mark it as V2. So here you have V1 and V2 both are the vertices so that now you can imagine the ellipse is like that. It must be passed from the V1 and V2. Now next step, divide this V1, V2 into 7 or 8 
approximate equal parts. So here you can see it is approximate equal parts we can say. So don't waste the time to take the equal division exactly with the help of this scale. You can take randomly 7, 8, 9, 10 approximate parts. Give the name. Now draw the vertical line passing through these all points. With the help of the ruler scale you can do it. Because of it must be exactly vertical line that means it is parallel to this line or this line. Now give the name over here one dash corresponding to this one point and so that you can say two dash, three dash, four dash, five dash, six dash, seven dash up to ten dash. Now very important point take compass set the radius as one one dash so here you can see one one dash draw an arc on one one dash line but the center is F1. So now take F1 as the center, draw the arc on 1 1 dash line. Both side of this C V2 line. So that you will get the intersection point here and here. Mark this point. Now can you imagine my dear friend what should be the next step? Yes exactly right. Now once again you have to take the compass set the radius as 2 2 dash always f1 is your center draw the arc on 2 2 dash line so you will get the intersection point here and here mark it now next step yes exactly right now the radius is 3 3 dash draw the arc on this 3 3 dash line but once again the center is F1. So you will get intersection point here and here mark it. Similarly you will get the intersection point here next on this 5 5 dash line, 6 6 dash line, 7 7 dash line, 8 8 dash line, 9 9 dash line and at last 10 10 dash line. Now join all the points by the smooth curve. So keep in mind that it must be smooth curve. That means there will be no any corner point. And that is your final engineering curve. So this is your first answer. Engineering curve. Now second one, give the name of the cow. So here you know that this is the ellipse. Now the last objective, normal and tangent. Here it is given to you at any point on the cow. So you can assume at any point on this ellipse. So let's say this is the S point where I want to draw the normal and tangent. So first of all joint SF1. Now perpendicular to SF1, draw one line. And that you can do with the help of the scale. Match the long line of the scale to this F1S line. So automatically it will give you the perpendicular line. Here you can see. That perpendicular line must be passed from this F1 point. Which will intersect this directrix line at this point. So mark it as T point. Join TS. With the help of this scale, that will be your tangent. And perpendicular to tangent, that is your normal. And once again, that you can do with the help of this scale. Match the long line, so you will get the normal. So this is your next answer, normal and tangent at any point on the ellipse. At last, which is the easiest method for the ellipse? Write your answer in the comment box. We have discussed the different methods so far for the ellipse. So definitely now you can imagine and write your answer in the comment box. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate.